What's up, everybody? Another BlizzCon 2017 video, and today we're going to be going over Overwatch. So, without further ado, I also will be releasing videos for Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Diablo, StarCraft, and Warcraft, but now we're into um, Overwatch, and we have a couple of updates for Overwatch, and there are amazing updates, so some cool things coming. Um, we've got a new hero, we've got a new map. And we've got some cool new items to collect. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see some of the cinematics that we have been given. Starting off with the new map, because I think this is really, really cool and interesting. So without further ado, Blizzard World, the new hybrid map. Where you took your first steps in Azeroth. This brought me chills, fam. Where you confronted the Lord of Terror As everybody else himself. is thinking, they need to make this real. Where you spawned your first Zergling rush. Sometimes, epic memories can only be made in an epic world. And it looks like it was made where Stormwind is sitting today in World of Warcraft. Or when they put the rest of the themes of Hearthstone, Age of the Storm, Diablo, Starcraft, and all that in here as well. Your Very cool. Adventure, your community. Your memories. Fight to touch See them come alive. Snacks, Robin! I noticed that right away. That's a really cool name. Blizzard World. Epic fun detected. Amazing. Well met. Stay a while and listen to the fireworks. Probably gonna be my favorite map. Come and visit Blizzard World. New adventures. My boy Bastion, Winston, Torby over here, and Tracer just sprinting off to get into the goddamn fun, and I can't wait to do it as well. Next up, we're going to be going into um, the new hero that has actually been introduced as well, and we'll be diving in deep onto her as well. No pun intended on that, because I wouldn't be diving deep onto anything, but without further ado, let's get into introducing Moira herself. Talon finally got a healer, that's for sure. We are bedeviled by the mysteries of And she looks very fun and OP to play. Science can reveal the truths that lie behind these many questions. What we learn can unlock very, very interesting the potential hero. of humanity. Life sucking and life healing that is what she's all about. And she also has her like little type of rape form ability. Wondering where Reaper got that the from, shadows. fam. Goddamn Zenyatta orbs over here. <laughs> healing Zenyatta orbs. And life stealing or draining of stopping of healthy type of Zenyatta orbs. And her freaking heroic ability is. Oh, pistol! It heals and deals damage to anything that it, it, it hits. Heals your allies, deals damage to enemies. It's absolutely. Disgustingly OP, but I cannot wait to play her. Very, very cool hero. Let's go ahead and see her origin, which is going to be a little bit more interesting because she has some ties and connections with Talon. Moira, origin story. We stand so she is a scientist. Of a if you in human evolution. I have dedicated my life to unraveling its secrets. I take risks that others would consider to be unwise, for I do not share their caution. I don't like this. Overwatch she just held back some the pace stuff to of herself. scientific discovery for decades. They believed my methods were too radical, too controversial, and they tried to silence me. Team Talon fam. Which is kind of where they got their power, especially their rules. As you can see here. Freed from my shackles, the pace of our research hastened. Together, we do so she's always been around those areas forbidden by law, by morality, and by fear. New patrons emerged who possessed an appetite for my discoveries. But in and the background, she only cares about her ideals, but they kind of tie into what Talon does, but it's all about her. That's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for Moira. Uh, we'll dive in uh, into her abilities and all that stuff in just a bit. Um, next up, I want to go ahead and do another animated short, and this is 
Honor and Glory, uh, that gave me some goddamn feels, fam. When I saw this the first time, I was absolutely in tears. Um, I wasn't like, but I was, like, kind of, like, tearful. Like, I was shedding some waters, fam. Um, this is, this is it. Honor and Glory, uh, featuring Reinhardt. And the voice actor is absolutely an amazing person. He's been around all through BlizzCon this year. And he was absolutely fun to be... It was great on all the panels that he was in, but this is some shocking... I never knew this was Reinhardt's backstory. Winston's message wasn't meant for you. Oh, and the hottest new Overwatch character, Bridget, fam. Papa she thick. So she thick. Years. Somehow Torbjorn's daughter, you but she Overwatch thick. Everything, and then they pushed you out. She builds them taller turrets, fam. I want to know who Torbjorn did it with to create that. But so, damn, here comes the sadness. You're leaving us. I have been called. I must that was Reinhardt, by the way. Great honor. Uh, to disappear into some secret organ. It starts off pretty funny and, and cool. I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, this is the Reinhardt I know. It's it's funny, but. But it just gets the freaking sad, dude. Of Germany. People will be singing songs about our legacies. Our legacies are our deeds. And this war is bigger than all of us. Goddamn Omnix, fam. They're playing our song. Stick with your dance partners. Let's crush those rust buckets. Here's your walking stick, old man. <laughs> Live with honor. <laughs> Dive is glory. And I'm so already got. I already got the feels, bro. Cause I've seen this before. It gets worse and worse. This is so cool, man. Reinhardt is. <laughs> I didn't know you could watch the same thing twice and have the same feels twice. I love the wind in my Reinhardt is just an epic beast, dude. Ah, they're just slowing me down. Ah, besides, they'll find. Ah. Reinhardt messes up here pretty hard. I, I, I felt that in, in the game before. Sometimes I don't even know where Reinhardt is. Could be just sitting there with his shield up while I do my, my pro damage. This is where he loses his eye, bro. These freaking robots got no shame! This guy's a pro. But it's just so goddamn sad, man. I had this. Obviously. They're cutting us off. Let's move. Didn't have nothing, Ben. Oh, and here it comes, man. The most difficult part to watch for this. That door won't hold. Get back to the eunuch. Ah, this guy will hold them off. <laughs> and let you have all the glory? <laughs> we will fight our way back together. <sighs> no, I'm staying here. But I. I never knew this was it, man. You, Lieutenant. You took an oath to be a crusader. Now, keep it. I... I won't leave you! The team needs you. Be their shield. <sighs> Reinhardt, live with honor.
I don't know how Blizzard does this man, every goddamn time, fam. <laughs> Die this glory. And now I know the whole story behind this map too. It's not fair, bro. It's not. I still have more to introduce you guys in this episode, and I'm already I can't speak. But this guy's a baller and a half. Dual wielding Reinhardt over the top. But he's dual wielding as a pro. And look at Ryan, bro. Doing the protection he needs to do, fam. Where's Mercy when you need her, bro? Resurrect this guy! Damn, bro. Hitting me with the feels right now hard, mate. I've watched this already and already knew what was happening, fam. Bridget taught as fuck, though. <laughs> I have been called. I must answer. God damn, fam. I don't know what to say, but that is some deals and a half. But I gotta continue on with this episode, so... Yee! We got some cool stuff about to speak about, though. We got some brand new skins coming to regular loot boxes, so you can purchase these whenever you want. E, and they're also featuring Blizzard-themed characters in the Overwatch, finally. So I cannot wait for them to continue on with this. But we got Immortal or Risa. Who looks very cool, and that is definitely going to be the skin for me, uh, taking over um, whatever I ha currently have um, with freaking carbon monoxide. I don't even know. Fucking carbon dap. I don't know. Car the carbon one. Carbon fiber. There we go. Uh, Magni Bronzebeard, definitely going to be for me as well, because I'm a huge World of Warcraft fan. For Torbjorn, very cool. Nova for Widowmaker. Actually, I thought this was Mercy at first, but then I saw the weapon and I saw the goddamn booty. So we definitely knew this was Widowmaker, and she looks hot as as well. Uh, Black Can Doomfist, uh, definitely the only cool um, skin for Doomfist here. So I'm definitely going to be using this one. Uh, we also got Barbarian Zarya. So Zarya is getting another cool skin, and she, I mean, she's finally getting some cool skins, fam. Butcher Roadhog. Which also looks very, very nasty and mean and fits him very, very well. And of course, the reason why I showed you that origin story, because we also get Crusader Reinhardt, which is definitely a skin that I'm going to be using to pay tribute to that uh, origin story. And Eco Point May from another origin story that we had in the not so distant past. So, going into Moira herself. So, as we all know, uh, she has a support with a difficulty of two stars out of three. Moira's biotic abilities enable her to contribute healing or damage in any crisis. While biotic grasp gives Moira short range options, her biotic orbs contribute longer range. Hands off damage and healing. Um, she can also fade to escape groups to remain close to allies in need of her support. Uh, once she's charged coalescence, uh, Moira can save multiple allies and uh, from elimination at once or finish off weakened enemies. So abilities, Biotic Grasp. Using her left hand, Moira expands Biotic Energy to heal allies in front of her. Her right hand fires a long-ranged beam, a uh, weapon that saps enemies' health, healing Moira and replenishing her Biotic Energy. Biotic Orbs. 
Moira launches a rebounding biotic sphere that can choose between a regeneration effect that heals her allies it passes through or a DK effect that deals damage to enemies. Fade, Moira quickly teleports a short distance. Coalescence, which is her, um, her heroic ability. Uh, basically, Moira channels a long-range beam that both heals allies and bypasses barriers to damage enemies. Uh, basically, her overview. So, her real name is Moira O'Darren. Uh, age is 48, so she's pretty old. Uh, occupation is a goddamn a geneticist. Uh, basically, her base of operations is in Dublin, Ireland, Oasis, Iraq. Uh, affiliation is Talon as well as Black, uh, Blackwatch, formerly. Um, her science will reveal the truth. So, equal parts, uh, brilliant and controversial, scientist Moira is on the cutting edge of genetic engineering, uh, basically searching for a way to rewrite and fundamental uh, building blocks of life. <clears throat> Over a decade, uh, she has made waves, and when she published a controversial paper detailing a methodology for creating custom genetic programs that would after or alter DNA at a cellular level, it seemed like a promising step toward overcoming disease and disorders and maximizing human potential. Speaking of Reaper right there. Uh, dissent among her peers soon followed. Many considered her work to be dangerous because of its perceived ethical shortfalls, and she was even uh, accused of having the same unchecked desire for scientific advancement that some believed had caused the Omnic Crisis. In addition, other geneticists uh, were unable to reproduce the results more of his research, which further called her discoveries into question. So, she's doing some things no one else can do. So, instead of kickstarting her career, her paper uh, seriously damaged her reputation, which is where Talon comes in. She received a lifeline in an offer from an unlikely source, Overwatch's covert ops division, Blackwatch. She continued her work in the shadows while developing new weapons and technologies for the organization. Her employment was a clear uh, was closely kept secret until it was discovered during inquiries uh, following the Venice incident. Uh, many high-ranking Overwatch officials disavowed all knowledge of her affiliation with them. After Overwatch was disbanded, she was forced to turn to unconventional sources of funding. This time, she was invited to join the scientific collective that had founded the city of Oasis, which she's also going to have an Oasis-type skin. Yet, some have whispered that the uh, shadowy talent organization had already seen, uh, supported her for years, basically aiding her experiments to, in exchange for utilizing the results for their own purposes. Though she will go to any length to make scientific uh, breakthroughs, uh, her work is still unknown to most of the world, but now that she has um, basically been freed from all constraints, it is only a matter of time before everything basically changes, and she basically focuses on her goals um, through the help with Talon. So that's basically what happened with Overwatch uh, during BlizzCon. So thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this show. Stay tuned for some more. Check out the description box and peace out everybody.